Greetings, my family of faith. Thanks for tuning in to this little video. You know, sometimes this year it's felt like we're just riding a stationary bike. Here I am on my, it's not a Peloton, but it's a good little uh, stationary bike. Got spinning classes, different things I can follow. My buddy Sean here as I work out, but you know, sometimes this year it's felt like we are just going nowhere, running in place, riding a stationary bike. But really, we have expanded our impact. Many things we've had to just maintain, but other areas we've grown and learned. And even though we may feel like we're not going forward, we are growing, we're working out, we're exercising in new ways, new muscles. You know, I had to cancel uh, membership to Lifetime Fitness. Now I'm starting to get out of breath. Um, just because it didn't seem safe with COVID, so I had to adjust and I'm fortunate this year I've been just really appreciating how privileged I am to have a good income, to have health insurance, to be able to go out and purchase a stationary bike and to be flexible and adapt. The same way that our congregation has, our staff has, church council, and we've had to be flexible and learn new ways to exercise our faith as well as for some to exercise our bodies. So I'm just thinking about how our staff has adapted. You know, we have now weekly staff meetings or Zoom meetings, it's virtual. Where it used to be, we would meet together in the fireside room, be together and but now we Zoom and we stay in touch. We stay connected, we've adapted. Seems like things do take longer. I used to be able to walk down the hall in the office area of church check in with everybody in about 10 minutes and just feel connected. So we've had to work harder at being connected and we feel like we really are. And we've been able to also expand our worship experiences. We've been able to stay connected with our ministry partners. And I think even every ministry partner has expanded their ministry in some way. We've been able to support Krista Obrero as they've adapted. We've helped them with gas cards and gift cards to Target, just to help people meet basic needs, enough gas in the car to get to work, that kind of thing. With public safety ministry, I'm in constant contact with Pastor Dan as he works with police officers. It's been a heck of a year for police officers. We also stay connected and support our friends at Redeemer in North Minneapolis. Just dropped off about 25 used bikes for their Venture North bike store. And also have been able to help them in other ways. Common Hope, we've increased the number of kids that we sponsor. We had a walk to raise funds and awareness. Common Hope Guatemala, we continue to support. We also support families moving forward, which has had to move into hotels rather than stay in churches. And we're hoping in the very near future, we can host again in person. We also continue to support our new ministry area, Love Inc. And Quentin Knock Knock has done such a great job of getting that set up. We have another couple Dave and Shirley Granlin will help him as that ministry in our community helps to supply basic needs for families. So we continue with those ministry partners that we have, but we also um, continue to support our food shelf and Meals on Wheels. You know, we've had three members that have ended their long careers at the food shelf. Marty Kramer, Marit Rinke, and Angela Rood, who have served so faithfully. Marty as director for 17 years. So they've continued, you know, that ministry 
continues to flourish. So we've done some really great things. One of the huge challenges that we've had to adapt to is our pastoral care. Visiting people in the hospital, nursing homes has been very restricted and it's particularly difficult for families, for difficult, especially for those in memory care units where the isolation seems to have escalated the dementia. So we want to find creative ways. Pastor Jim Demke has done a great job of staying in touch with those that are homebound or nursing home or memory care units. We try to stay in touch. We've had members since the shutdown in March that have had loved ones that have died and we've not been able to have memorial services until very recently. So it's a challenge to support without being physically present in those situations where we used to just be able to be at the bedside or be on the unit or support. So, but we continue to do that. We can pray, we can call, we can Zoom. And so we thank you for your continued support as we continue to be powered by faith and expand our ministry. We continue to get in better shape with our spiritual exercises to reach out in faith, to be a community that really does love as we are a community that is full of inclusive grace and shares contagious love. So thank you. God bless you. I pray, I pray that you will continue to support us financially with your time, talent, and your money. We thank you for being a part of Faith Lutheran Church. Okay, Sean tells me I got to pick it up a little bit now because my heart rate is not high enough. Okay, here I go. See you later. Thank you. Bye.